I know you want to get comfortable and confident on camera because you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. And I'm going to give you six tips to help you get comfortable and confident on video and get through that first awkward stage a lot faster. But just know we all start off bad. And I want to show you that none of us do this perfectly and it's never paradise when we do do it. This is one thing I don't want you to see on camera. I don't want you to hear it on camera. And I'm constantly having to work my takes in between the heater or the air conditioning coming on. This is also a problem. Say hi. Hi. My son, he likes to talk and he's a loud talker. So I gotta work around that too. Then there's the fact that this room is never clean. So anytime I'm about to shoot one of these YouTube videos, you better believe there's a pile of clutter over here. Not to mention, I'm constantly having to powder my nose. For whatever reason, my nose is so greasy on this camera. So this happens every other minute. And then there's this. That first one you just saw, no. <laughs> Wait. Number six, no. And that's not easy to do, 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 do. See, you only see the good stuff. We don't want to show you all the bloopers. Sometimes it takes me five, six, seven times just to get out three sentences the right way. So if you find yourself having to redo things over and over again, don't feel bad. That's normal. Let's get to the six tips now. The first thing you have to ask yourself is why? Why do you want to be on camera? What's the benefit of you being on camera? And does it outweigh the fear of you being on camera? Chances are you want to be on camera because you want to reach an audience. You want to grow an audience and you want to find customers or clients for your business. You also have to focus on that ideal person that you want to be watching. And then number two, you have to start treating the camera like it is that ideal person. I know that's not easy because this is what you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at this and possibly yourself, but you don't want to look at yourself. You want to look into the camera lens and talk to it like it's one person because that's like talking to the person and looking them in the eyes. This is you looking at yourself and looking like you're more interested in yourself than in the person that you're talking to. This is you looking into their eyes and saying, I see you and I'm talking to you and just you. As soon as you can find this camera to be your friend, things are going to get easier. But how do you do that? Number three, you gotta practice. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your camera, your phone, with you everywhere, and you're going to randomly talk to it like it was an imaginary friend, just like when you were a kid. And you are going to record yourself and you're going to watch yourself. This is exactly what I did when I first started posting videos on Instagram. In Instagram stories, I would randomly talk about anything, recipes, it didn't matter. Are you ready for the easiest dinner ever? I'm gonna show you how to make crock pot chicken. Here's what I'm going to do today. First up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this hair. Sometimes I did not post it. Sometimes I just watched it. And it's really important that you watch yourself so that you see how you come across on camera. You want to be looking at your camera lens. You want to be a little bit louder than usual because that's going to make you look more confident. And when you look more confident, you feel more confident. All right, just checking. Yeah, it's greasy. This is e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I get it on Amazon for three bucks. It's my favorite powder when it comes to camera. I don't have this problem on my phone camera. I have this problem on this camera, but if you have shininess, I would recommend this. So let's continue with the looking confident. In order for you to feel and look confident, you need to be comfortable with whatever it is you're wearing and whatever it is you're doing to your face. Some people couldn't care less about makeup on their face and that is totally fine. You don't need makeup. You need whatever is going to make you feel more confident. You will not see me on this camera without my makeup, especially my lashes. I do my hair. I put on a bright colored shirt, solid color, because that brings more color to your face. You want to make sure you don't look slouchy. So slouchy is going to look frumpy on camera and we don't want that. Here are some of my tips for that. Sometimes I will take a loosely fitted shirt and I will roll it up in the back and stuff it in my pants. All that does is give me a little bit of form fitting and I always try and roll my sleeves up to three fourths because it's just more flattering. I also try to have a looser neck because it's more inviting when you have a looser neck, like a V-neck. 
It's probably even better than this little scoop neck. And the other thing you can do is if you can't stuff it in your pants, your shirt, you can just take the small gathering in the back with a hair clip like so. And it just gives you a more tailored look. Number five, your surroundings. Where are you going to create your videos? It doesn't matter where it is as long as you're comfortable and as long as it's quiet so your viewer can hear you. I'm in my laundry room. I like my laundry room. It's big. I can control the light. And for the most part, I can control the sound. You've got to figure out what's going to be comfortable for you. I also like to stand. I'm more comfortable standing because it's easier for me to breathe and express myself. And most people look more confident when they stand for those very reasons. It's okay if you sit, but test it out. Sit for some, stand for some, and see what you like best. Before we get to number six, I need to tell you, you're not going to like your first videos or your first dozen videos. Nobody likes their first videos. You have to start bad to get better. Just know that. And the faster you plow through these first videos, the faster you're going to start liking yourself on camera. But you're not going to like yourself on camera if you don't do number six. Number six, you have to prepare. And I don't mean scripting. I just mean bullet points. I have notes for what I want to show on here. So I knew I was going to show you my little shirt trick. I didn't want to forget that. I knew I was going to show you some of my old stories. I didn't want to forget that. And then I knew I was going to give you six ways to feel more comfortable on camera. So you have to know what you're going to be talking about, how you're going to start your video and your main points, or you're going to be floundering. You're going to be saying way too much and all over the place and your viewer's not going to be able to follow you. And if you make your viewer work to understand your video, they won't watch. One more thing before you go, you need to know that you have to go through the five phases of video in order for you to make money with video. You can use all this as you go through the five phases, but you got to get through the five phases. And if you don't know what those are, I have a video explaining it right here.